I found these silver acorns at the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. Uh, I'm thinking either, you know, paperweight or what came to my mind is um, a decoration for a place setting. I think these would be really cute favors. But because they're silver, I'm going to have to, they're almost like a metal feeling. I'm going to have to uh, start with Wise Owl Primer. I'm going to do the white. You could do the clear if you have that. But I just covered each acorn with the white Wise Owl Primer that you could find at chocolateafancy.com. For the back side, I waited till everything was dry, flipped them over, and then completed the underside of each acorn. So you do want to get the primer all the way around. Once everything was dry, I started with black Wise Owl paint and covered each acorn. It was easy to dry the underside as I was going along so I could sit the acorn back down just using a blow dryer or you could use a heat gun. Once they were all dry, I took a small dabber and a little bit of white snow owl by Wise Owl and the first one I made polka dots on. Now moving forward, I had, I, I've used these before, as you can see the red paint. These are adhesive stencils. They come in strips, and I believe it came in a set of four. You can get these at Hobby Lobby. And these worked really well because of the shape of these acorns. Um, a regular stencil would be difficult. And I'm just using the painter's tape to keep me from getting too much white into the black. And again, I'm using a dabber, the snow owl. And the key with these stencils is you just want a very dry dabber. And then um, just do the dabbing motion. I did have to touch up a little bit here and there. But outside of that, these adhesive stencils worked very well. And each strip just had a different design to them. And again, the painter's tape is just so that I don't get too much white on the uh, parts of the black that I don't want the white. And again, you want dry paint on your dabber so you don't get the bleed through. These stencils are adhesive, which helped a lot. And again, a little touch up was needed of the black. And now I had my last one. A little painter's tape just to keep my uh, white paint isolated here a small dabber a little bit of paint you want this to be dry so you don't get a lot of bleed through I know I'm repeating myself but this is really the key to stenciling
and you may want to use a smaller paintbrush. I just had this there that this is what I used to paint them black, so I just continued with that paintbrush. Okay, now I'm going to let all this dry. If you want to hit it with a blow dryer, it's going to dry quite quickly because it's a very light paint. So now I'm going to be using some um, gilding wax. This is by Redesign by Prima. It's in the uh, Cleopatra Gold. We do have this at chocolateoffancy.com. The tube goes a very long way because you just need a very small amount on your finger. You can use a brush. I just find it easier to use my finger. You put a little bit on your finger. I rub it in between my pointer and my thumb so it's not too much of a glob, so it kind of has a nice balance to your finger. And you just rub it on wherever you want. And I'm going to be using this at the top of each acorn. The little acorn hat I'm going to do in the gold. And I liked how this looked because you could still see the black through. It kind of gave it a vintage look. Now this does take... Um, a day or two to completely dry. You do not put a top coat over top of your gilding wax. It is a wax, so it is your top coat. And the one thing I did not show at the end of this video was that I did seal the bottom portion of the acorn where the stencil is with um, our salve by Wise Owl, also found at chocolateoffancy.com, just to seal that paint in. But you don't want to get it on the gilding wax because wax removes wax. So I plan on using my acorns as a uh, table setting piece. I like to decorate for the holidays. And I thought this looked cute on each plate. And I love the black and the white. And there you go. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateoffancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or mesh stencils, chocolateoffancy.com. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.